A lawmaker learned the hard way. There are still raw emotions when it comes to communists. KPX5 political reporter Melissa Kane is here with a backlash to what seemed like a pretty simple proposal. Right, Melissa? Yeah, Veronica, Rob Bonta is an East Bay assemblyman who thought he was introducing a simple bill. AB 22 would have removed part of California law that bans communists from working in state government. Now, the law hasn't been enforced in about 50 years, but Assemblyman Bonta quickly learned that when it comes to communists, Communism, nothing is simple. Are you now or have you ever been <laughs> a member of the Communist Party? Yeah, of course not. But tell that to the people on Facebook who wrote things like, Rob Bonta wants communism in California. Right now, California law says it is cause for dismissal from employment with the state to be a member of the Communist Party. But Bonta says that law is already meaningless. Um, so there could be communists working for the state of California right now. For the last 50 years, that's been the law. That's because in 1967, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down a federal law barring members of the Communist Party from working in a defense facility. The court said the inhibiting effect on the exercise of First Amendment rights is clear. So California's law would similarly be unenforceable. My uh, original intent was that, I, like I said, this would be a, a technical cleanup bill, take it unconstitutional language, clearly deemed unconstitutional by the United States Supreme Court, off of California's law books. Um, it turned into be, to, for some communities to be much more than that. When it came time to present the bill, called AB 22, on the floor of the assembly, some Republicans were strongly opposed. Communism stands for everything that the United States stands against. We're for freedom. We are for justice, we are for democracy, we are for the rule of law, and communism is none of these things. Bonta's Democratic colleagues also had concerns, and several didn't vote for the bill. And then there were the Facebook posts, dozens of them. Go to a communist country if you want communism. Stop communism, stop Rob Bonta, and you're a traitor with all U.S. soldiers. In the end, Bonta decided that the effort to clean up the law wasn't worth the pain it was causing to veterans and Vietnamese Americans. He pulled the bill. There have been experiences in certain communities uh, where uh, experience, experiences with communist regimes are incredibly negative and very painful. So, um, you know, there were some v vocal folks uh, w from, from, from those groups who came forward. And, and you know, that, that, that spoke to me. Now, the assemblyman says he has no interest in reintroducing the bill, but he will continue to talk to the offended groups to make sure they understand that his intention was not to invite communists into state employment. Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.